I will start with this example. By the way, I will break down most of the scenes you saw in the intro, but I will mainly focus on this one and apply everything I know to fix it. If you want to support the channel, check out my cinematic compositor add-on, which adds color grade and effects that will make your renders cinematic. You can notice that the lighting is off, the model is low quality, the camera settings are bad, and there is no depth in the render. Let's fix the subject first. The main problem here is that the model is bad, it is low poly, the textures don't have any depth and all sort of things. Now, I am pretty bad at modeling stuff, and I don't think it's necessary to model everything by hand. What you will do is simply use pre-made assets, because these are mostly made by professionals, and remember, your goal is to create pro renders. The best place is mega scans, and you can claim all of these assets for free before 2024. You can also use Blender Kit to get good models. For textures, again, Blender Kit comes in handy. You can also use Ambient CG and Polyhaven. I use Ambient CG mostly for textures. So the point is that you have to make your subject high quality. This human skin is made by a paid plugin, but it is worth it. The plates and glass in this one are from Mega Scans, and the texture is from Ambient CG. This action figure is from Blender Kit. You can get all of these project files on my Patreon. Let's talk about camera settings. Increase the focal length to 100 or 80 millimeter. Higher focal length will get you more blur. We will get to that in the second. Blender also contains lens types. The panoramic gives a fisheye lens effect. Lower focal length will give a more wide effect. Depth of field can really improve your renders. Higher focal length will get you more blur, but if you are using panoramic lens type, the blur won't change with focal length. You have to change the lens type back to perspective and increase the focal length and then switch back to panoramic. These are the best settings for depth of field. You can also use the camera from my starter pack, which will give you those shapes in the background, which are used in films a lot. Also use one of these resolutions. It will give you the black bars that you see in movies. Lighting plays a big role in your renders. There is only one rule you will follow, and that is to avoid adding the light source in front of the camera. Try to add the light source behind your subject, or you can place it on the top or on side. Let me show you some practical examples. The area light is placed like this in this shot. You can copy these settings if you want. This one is also opposite to the camera. This shot is a little different. I did use the area lights, but I have also used a backdrop. This is the default HDRI that comes with Blender. Before using this, understand this concept. Open the shader editor and switch to the world tab. Add a mix shader node. What it does is that it can mix two nodes, such as two lighting setups. You can plug the background nodes in this, and you can control this factor, which will decide what to show. You can control this factor with a light path node, and that gives you an option to use two background nodes, one for lighting and one for the camera. For this shot, the HDRI is not affecting the subject because this is just for the background. This will help a lot, and if you combine this with my Cinematic Compositor add-on, more on that later. Let's move on to the topic that no one tells you about. Sound designing. To make your renders epic, you have to add a story in it, and you can't do that without sound. I will show you some practical examples. Here is the context of this render. A general starts smoking, and someone is entering the room to tell him a news. First, let's find the sound effects. You can either go to Pixabay, or you can find sound effects from YouTube. 
I will make a sound effects pack if this video gets to 100,000 views, but that is literally impossible. Let's get back to the render. I will add a smoking and door sound effect. Just check the result. Here, another example. I will warn you that finding good sound effects is very hard, so take your time. The final chapter, compositing. Just get my add-on and trust me, it will give you the best results. But if you don't want to do that, open your compositor, check use nodes, add a lens distortion node and a glare node, change these settings and you are good to go. You can color grade your render in the post and that's it. Let me summarize the video for you. Try to use high quality assets. Change your camera settings to a higher focal length and use depth of field. Follow the one simple lighting rule. Use sound to add story and use the Blender compositor and some nodes to add that final touch. Subscribe and share the video so I can make a cinematic sound pack for free for you guys. Check out the cinematic compositor add-on to support the channel.